Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Eskeva, and well, this is a little bit different than what you're used to, right? So you're used to a big set and another person and a whole bunch of other stuff. This is Tomorrow Daily Mini. This is going to be a tiny episodes for the next couple weeks while we get our brand new studio up and running. Uh, but, you know, it's going to be a really exciting time, and I have something really fun for you guys to do. So our hashtag of the day all week this week is going to be TD Host, and we want you to guess who our new co-host is. It's somebody you've heard of, probably. Uh, I, I, I've heard of him. I've heard of him. It's, it's a guy. Oh, I gave away a clue. Uh, TD host. And if you guess it and you're the first person to guess it on Twitter, I don't know, maybe I'll dig, maybe I'll dig in a box of stuff and find a prize for you. That's all I'm saying. All right, guys, let's hit the headlines. <laughs> Canadian company Aerovelo is celebrating right now after setting a new land speed record for human powered vehicles. Pretty cool stuff. So this actually happened last week at the 2015 World Human Powered Speed Challenge competition, which I had never heard of up until this point, but good for them. And this bike was ridden by the company's founder. He rode in this speed bike and hit 86.65 miles per hour in this thing. Not quite 88, so he wasn't able to go back to the future, but I am really impressed by this because a team of 14 people built this bike. So not a huge team of people. They were able to set the new land speed record, which is some pretty impressive stuff. So nice work, Arovello. Okay, let's talk about a director who decided to take some very old technology and turn it into a new thing by sending it up into space. I really like this trend. This is really exciting. So director Joe Connor was doing a music video for Kelvin Jones. He has a song called Call You Home, and he took two old Sony TVs, retro TVs, and sent them up into orbit using a weather balloon and uh, rigged a bunch of GoPros all around them. Pretty awesome. And did it twice so he could get the shots that he wanted out of it. Really impressive stuff. And like I said, a really good way to get some new use out of some old technology. So you can check out that video if you are so inclined. Okay, last thing on our headlines. We gotta talk about clothes, specifically virtual clothes and a magic mirror. This comes from a Korean team called My Design Lab. The project is called Mirror Mirror. It uses a sensor to scan and track your body and a projector to throw pixelated clothes onto you. Now you can change those clothes with a wand that's infrared, or you can actually draw on the clothes with that wand and get those clothes custom printed specifically for your body. It's a pretty interesting way to feature customized clothing. I mean, we've seen customized clothing before if you've ever made a pair of custom sneakers online. Uh, it's kind of like that, but just taking it to a really far, far step ahead of what we currently use. Okay, so we're done with headlines. Let's talk about Back It or Hack It. All you dog owners out there can finally rejoice because if you've ever been frustrated at taking a selfie with your dog and not getting your dog to look directly at the camera, pooch selfie might be for you. This is a 3D printed clip that lets you mount a tennis ball onto the top of your smartphone. Now, I know what you're thinking. This sounds like the worst idea in the universe because if your dog really likes tennis balls and you're holding up your smartphone trying to get your dog to look at the tennis ball, uh, it's gonna lunge for the tennis ball and then take your phone and the tennis ball away. So I'm gonna say hack it, but if you wanna spend 13 bucks, you wanna get a good selfie of your dog and they're well behaved, I say go ahead and get in on that. It's on Kickstarter right now, but uh, I might try to get my dog to take their selfies some other more traditional way like sticking peanut butter on the top of my phone. I don't know, I don't know. Let's talk about Photographer of the Day. Our Photographer of the Day is Nick. Nick used his iPhone 5S and he writes to us and he says, Nick here, I took this shot in an iPhone 5S in Scranton, Pennsylvania. I love that reflection. Was thinking of getting the 6S Plus to up my photography game. Definitely use this photo. Thanks guys. Well, uh, you're very welcome. Yes, we definitely did use this picture, so thank you, Nick. And if you're out there and you want to submit your photography, you can do that. You can email us tomorrow at cnet.com. Uh, you can find us on the internet. We're all over the shop if you want to follow us on social media, Facebook, uh, Twitter. But really, if you want to follow me or producer Logan, you can do that on Twitter. I'm at Ashley Esqueda, and producer Logan is over at Logan Moy. Uh, and that is it for our show today. These are the tiny episodes of Tomorrow Daily that you're going to be seeing for the next couple weeks while we get our fabulous new studio built. Uh, but until then, be good humans, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!